Hello, anybody, somebody, nobody, who ever may never see this is Z-Free Dogs Under Faust, the Whiff. Come back at you with some more Warhammer 40k. I'm going to be covering Night Lords this time. Night Lord covering. I'm going to be covering. Um, <laughs> and their army. They're going to have a Night Lords Vanguard detachment, 2,000 points, 0 CP. It's kind of like the Metaclone, but a bit different, obviously. You're going to have Abaddon the Spoiler, Master Possession, Dark Apostle, and then two Avis with Laz Cannons, three 10 man squads of Possessed, but then one five man squad of Rubric Marines, and two five man squads of Raptors. Um, the reasons the Rubrics were cut were to make way for the Raptors. And I'll go into that in a second. What they get for the special thing is Terror Tactics. Um, while uh, used with the trait of the following ability, Terror Tactics Aura, when enemy units within nine inches of them, subtract two from the leadership of the unit, and subtract one from the combat attrition test taken for that unit. And then if you make attack with a melee weapon and the target's unit that is at half strength or below when you started the attack, then, uh, or it target someone with a leadership of five or less, you get plus one to the wound. So, possessed, their strength five, anything that's T4 below, they're wounding on three ups, now they're wounding on two ups. Uh, <laughs> against low leadership stuff, or if they're already messed up. So it's pretty, 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 pretty nice. Um, and again, the Havocs are going to just harass the Raptors. See, what the Raptors do, though, the reason they're added is because also they're good in Night Lords lists. You know, they're cool. Um, is It's a bit more thematic. While enemies within six inches, subtract one from leadership. This shit stacks. So they're going to get minus three to leadership. So good. Um, so against non-Space Marines, because Space Marines are about 8 generally for most of the guys, that means if it's non-Space Marine armies and Necron and Custodes, so everyone else, um, they're going to hit Strength 5. I mean, uh, Leadership 5. So they can probably be at full strength, and you're still going to get the plus 1 uh, wound against a lot of armies. Uh, or at least a de decent amount. Actually, it's not even a lot, just some. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, so you're going to be buffing up the Dark Disciple still, because the Aspiring Sorcerer should have Diabolic Strength. Yep. So he's not going to have Prescience, or the uh, the statistics are wrong, because it's Dark Disciple statistics. Dark Apostle is two up. Um, giving him more attacks and strength. Uh, Master Possession, buffing them, of course. And then you're going to have on the Master Possession, you're going to have uh, Eternal Vendetta still. And Dark Disciple is going to have the... Hatred Incarnate to help him uh, do more damage in melee. Hatred Incarnate gets more strength and attacks, charge, and give you a roll to hit. Abaddon is a beast. Just so good to run him right now. Havoc's going to be causing trouble. And then you're just going to split lane the Raptors, one in each major lane and or touch in the middle, where you need to be. And then uh, the Possessed is just causing trouble with the Master Possession helping them out. And then one Possessed Squad is, of course, going to have the Black Rune of Damnation to harass uh psychers so if they get any doubles they peril and which increases the amount of peril significantly um it times it by what three and then uh right yeah and then uh subtract one from the wound roll whenever someone makes an attack it doesn't have to be a melee attack so hopefully keeps them alive so this list uh, unlike some of the other clone lists they are leadership shenanigans I still wish there was some more thematic options given to some armies. That'd be cool to have those options available. Uh, Case or Asura or Rule of Two added as well. A lot of different things can be done for Warhammer, uh, but in time we will see. Uh, so, uh, you'd run this list more than the other list if you want a bit more go fast with the Raptor option to be included, but also uh, your opponent if you <laughs> if you want to. Um, you know, curve your list towards a certain opponent or type of army. Again, that's not unheard of. But if it's, you know, you're playing with your your ba your pals, um, that could be some type of way. I uh, this is gonna definitely cause them some leadership issues. You could do a bit more leadership, but again, you're gonna sacrifice efficiency and damage output and toughness of the list that it brings with the possessed because they're so good. Um, and at the end of the day, I didn't say this in the other army lists videos that I've made so far so this is number six or seven play whatever you want I don't fucking care um <laughs> play whatever you have fun with I try to make efficient lists that are more competitive for current match play that attempt to also have what the army focuses on 
or it's just more so leaning towards, of course, towards efficiency. Um, I want, I would love GW to change the game up so it's not Storm Shield spam, Melta spam, uh, and I think the focus on objectives is much better than doing just killing. Uh, but if, it could go either way, and at the end of the day, there's a lot of subjective opinions, so it is opinion based. If you like the videos I make, though, and you like this content, like, share, and subscribe. Post down in the comments below any positive feedback or, you know, say hello or any constructive criticism if it's good natured. And uh, check out my Twitch handle in the text below if you want. And the Google Drive link, which will have all these lists and more in the next day or two you can check out. Take care and game on.